All right, what you see right here next to me is the 2024 Chevy Trax. It's the all new redesign. If you're familiar with the Chevy Trax, you'll know that they did a big change. They stopped making it in 2022. They didn't have it around for 2023. And now they came out with this one for 2024. So we, I recently got this one. I've had it about three months. And I figured I show you the Maroni sticker. This one is an RS1. There is an LS, which is the base one. I believe that one starts around 21,500. But the one that I purchased, the MSRP total, if you look here at the window sticker, you're gonna see it's 23,000. $235. So I thought I'd make a video and see how much I can get for it if I take it to CarMax and get it appraised. Will I get MSRP for it? Will I get more? Or how much did I lose buying this car so far? So I figured it'd be an interesting video. You know, we all talk about cars depreciating uh, when they're new. So let's see how much this one's depreciated. Did it depreciate at all? Did it go up in value? how close is it to msrp so if you're interested stay tuned but let me do a quick walk around if you haven't already seen the chevy tracks this one again is the rs1 take a quick look at this one you're gonna see on the rs1 package you get the nicer wheels if you get the ls it comes with hubcaps so you get the the better rims you're gonna see how the lettering and even down here on the bumper on this one it's gloss black that doesn't come if you just get the base one, it'll come silver, which there's nothing wrong with that, but you're just seeing some of the options on the RS1, how it comes packaged. And then what I like is the interior. A quick peek at the interior, you're gonna see on the C it has red stitching. Look at the AC, it has red in here. You can get it in different colors, but I got the red. I really like the steering wheel. And now let's we're gonna hop in the car or we're gonna head to CarMax. All right, so we just getting to CarMax, got to do this U-turn. Now I'm not going to be able to record once I go inside, but what I am going to do while the car is being appraised, I am going to walk the lot and see if I find some cool cars. And I'm going to put that in the video as well. Once the car is being, when once it's done of being appraised, I am going to show everything. I'm going to show what, CarMax is willing to offer and we'll compare it to the MSRP and see if we are upside down, if we're right at MSRP, if we get more, we'll see where we're at. And here we are, we're at CarMax. So here's the front of CarMax. And there's somebody right there doing an appraisal. So we're parking and stay tuned and we'll see these numbers. All right, so we're getting the car appraised and now we're here at CarMax and here's the lot. Look at all the cars. Uh, definitely, they have a lot of cars, so inventory looks good. And one of the cars here that I liked, that caught my eye, here's the current body style Corvette, the black one with the rep rate calipers, that's pretty cool. So some of the cool cars are, or at least in my opinion, they're pretty cool that are here while the car's getting appraised is this Corvette with the brown interior. That's a nice little pop in my opinion. And what are they asking? So it's 2021, 76,998. Is that a good deal? Leave some comments on the bottom. Check out, oh, it has the glass bonnet where you can see the engine. That's pretty cool. Got the Camaro, got a Porsche over there. So you can see the inventory. It's pretty nice. So I spotted this Mercedes GLE 53 AMG. Love the exhaust. And I thought this one's pretty sick. Let's check out the interior. Look at those red seats, the pattern. I thought that's a pretty nice interior. And then what I thought was interesting is here in the back, check out the trunk. So the car's too high for you, press this, and it actually is gonna get go down because that's the air suspension. Look at it lower. So if it was too high for you and you couldn't fit the groceries in the back, you just press that, it goes down, 
and now it's lore. All right, I think the appraisal should be done. So we're gonna go in, and we're gonna see what we're getting for the Chevy track. All right, so the appraisal has been finished. If you've never been to CarMax and you wanna to go to CarMax and get your vehicle appraised, it's a pretty simple process. It's not hard at all. We just went in, we walked through the doors, we were greeted, we let them know we wanted to get our vehicle appraised. They pointed us to the appraisal department and it took about 30 minutes and they gave us a running guarantee that's up, that's good up to seven days. So were we, are we under on the car? Did we get close to MSRP? Did we get over? We're about to find out. So here's the MSRP again on the vehicle. It costs $23,235. And what did we get offered? CarMax came in at $21,000, which is not bad. The majority of times when you buy a new car, they do depreciate. So we're under about $2,235. But again, that's to be expected on a new car. They do depreciate, which I don't think is bad. $21,000 offer on the car, meaning if they're willing to give me $21,000 for it, they're going to sell it at MSRP, if not more. So if you're interested in tracks, in my opinion, you're better off going new right now. If you're going to get the current body style, this one I've had for three months has about 5,000 miles close to it. To be exact, 44,400 miles. And it's lost about a little over $2,000. So if you were wondering how much a Chevy Trax uh, will lose driving right off the lot, it's about $2,000. If um, you want to see more videos like this, subscribe, give me a like, and leave some comments below. Hope you stay tuned for the next one.